is recall session in last class we learned about the things that we use in everyday life matter and materials matter everything in the universe is made up of matter materials the matter from which a thing is made of is called materials we learned about properties of materials how many types of properties of materials there are five types of properties of materials what are they hard and soft shiny and dull rough and smooth flexible and rigid waterproof material objects objects or things that we see or use in day to day life objects are three types what are they transparent transparent and opaque object reflection of light what is reflection of light reflection is when light bounces off an object we are here to learn a new lesson work and energy prologue work work and energy no simple machines classify types of machines know about three types of lever we have studied about force in our lower classes aren't we what is force a push or pull is called force a push or pull moves an object at rest or stops an object in motion there are different kinds of force we are going to learn only four kinds they are magnetic force gravitational force muscular force frictional force a force can cause an object to change its shape speed or direction work we know what is work an action in which one exerts a force to move an object is known as work what do you understand from these pictures a man carries a luggage a carpenter cuts the wood a man plants a tree from these pictures we understood that a force is applied to do some work two main conditions are needed for a work to be done that is force and object a force should act on an object object should move from one place to another when the force acting on the object it makes a move it is said to be work is done now we are going to see few examples whether work is done or not pushing the door work is done holding a doll work is not done sitting in a bus work is not done pushing a wall work is done digging soil work is done this topic in this session is energy energy is defined as capacity for doing work energy must be transferred to an object in order to do work few examples for energy a man pulls a luggage to do so 
he needs some energy what is the source the source here is food gives energy to humans the car moves by receiving the energy from the burning of fuel what is the source the source is fuel the accelerator moves by using electricity as energy what is the source here the source is electricity types of energy electrical energy chemical energy mechanical energy thermal energy renewable energy non renewable energy electrical energy the movement of electrons is called electrical energy example lightning electricity chemical energy energy that is available for release from chemical reactions mechanical energy energy due to a object motion kinetic or position or potential thermal energy heat energy the heat energy of an object determines how active its atoms are we are going to learn briefly about renewable energy and non renewable energy renewable energy renewable sources of energy are replaced naturally over a period of time we can keep using these sources for a long period of time we use these resources for light transport cooking etc examples sand water wind non renewable energy the resource which are not easily replaced once used or called the non renewable energy example petrol coal natural gas i hope you all understood this session